Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video we are going to be installing rear drum brakes on the S15 so we can finish putting on the big brakes. Um, so I've got the drum brakes just over here on the ground. With the cables, everything's there, they just need to go on the back of this car and then we can install the big brakes as you can see um, so these are the ones those ones there and the rotors those are for Kita's um, S14 so we're gonna have to do the same thing to her car we just need some more um, drum brakes but um yeah so that is today's mission for you guys um, so these are the wheels that are for the Sylvia. They are RPF1 wraps, 18 by 11, 10p on the back. The rear guards have been pulled to fit bigger wheels. And then for the fronts, we got 18 by 9.5, uh, 12p offset. So quite an aggressive offset, but um, yeah, it looks really good on the car. Anyways, um. Yeah, I guess we will remove the original brake cable on Sylvia and take off the brake calipers and the rotors and um, yeah, get into it. What's up guys i am back um so yeah i literally had to pull everything out just to get the passengers um axle out um i never knew that was a thing i thought i could just you know pull it out but no i had to drop everything um so yeah i've got the uh, diff sitting there everything is pulled out on both sides um so we got the hubs rotors axles and then up the front we have the, I dropped the exhaust, um, we've got the sway bar, rear calipers and the cables and also had to take the drive shaft hoop out just to get to the um, bolts where the cables are. Sorry, I do have to cut the lips on here because they're off a um, factory non-turbo and the rotors um, are smaller on here so I've got to cut the lips so I can fit the bigger rotors and then yeah we can chuck them on. Sorry if it's a little bit dark in here but She's ready to get slapped back together. Let's carry on. Guys, it's the next day today um so yeah i did finish off 
cutting the lips off the um, dust covers. I um, I filed them down, cleaned them up a little bit. So yeah, everything's pulled out, so it's ready to be put back together. I did use a um, I used a brush and just brushed off all the debris and stuff in there, so it doesn't go all over my face. Um, but yeah, both sides have been done. I've got that side just yeah sitting there ready to go. But um, yeah, we'll get back into it. So we are done installing the uh, rear drum brake setup on the S15. I'll show you guys right here. So I got the um, caliper on, bigger rotors, uh, drum brakes behind the rotor, and the cable installed. Uh, both sides are done. Yep, looks very nice. Um, so yeah, what I've done with the um, the uh, cable um, bracket. I so I chopped the brackets off the R33 cables and I used the original um, brackets from the S15 cable and what I done was I mounted the S15 cable uh, bracket straight to the subframe and then I fed through the cable bolted it up to the front and the back so the line was even across the cable and then I put it on the bracket last and it came out very um come out perfect I'll just put a wheel on and um show you guys what it looks like. I think it looks pretty cool. We'll do that now. These wheels are huge. That's why the guards are rolled like that. I've already installed the um, front calipers. I didn't video it, but they are already on the car. As you can see. Cool. I'm happy with that. Cheers for watching the video, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, I do want to hit 1k subscribers by the end of the year, which would be really nice. But um, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.